All right, YouTube, so I got the lid off the box and here is exactly how the lid of the box came off of this old, almost antique Lionel train set. So you can see over here, got a hopper car, a couple sets of directions. And actually, so it says 19, there's a, it says Lionel authorized service station 1981 through 1982 policy so that's kind of cool uh, looks like directions for the gantry crane there's a nice hopper there reading railroad or reading i'm not sure how they say that there's a santa fe gondola car which is kind of cool always like those type of cars looks like a tp and w the progressive way it says box car and there's the gondola crane in brand new in the package right there kind of cool and the big tew i think it is or te and w locomotive i'm probably saying that wrong i think that's a gp20 so it's like an emd general purpose 20 locomotive i think that's non-turbocharged in real life and there is the transformer brand new Here's some of the works for the gantry crane. It says Lionel on it. Plastic, of course. So it looks like everything's in pretty good shape so far. Can't complain. Now here's the other. It's a limited one-year warranty. So I wonder if that starts now. Or is it, did that start back in like 1981, right? That's funny. So Fun Dimensions Customer Service Department. Mount Clements, Michigan, place stamp here. So warranty for one year from purchase, back when they had warranty cards. I guess some products still have them today. A lot of them you just register online. Phone, that's funny. No, no place for an email address on this, surprisingly. So you, re you retain one part of the card, you know. So there's the caboose. Brand new in this in the in the wrap. It's kind of weird. That some of the cars are in the wrap, and some and like the crane is in the wrap. Locomotive is not, of course, because it had a had a you had to show it through the window of the box, right? That was the the money part, the loco. And these other cars are not in the wrap. So and there's your looks like rubber bands. Zip ties, not zip ties, zip, like a wire tie to make up the track there. So, caboose, rails, the old three rail stuff, which I need to buy more of at Menards. And this one says Getty, it's a tank car. And then this one here, it's an Alice Chalmers or Alice Chalmers. Uh, some sort of a cargo carrying car. I don't know what that carries exactly. Looks like a cage almost, but it probably looks different once you take it out. So first car I want to take out though is this Reading Railroad. Hope I'm doing this right. Let's see if we can take this out of the another you know, wrapper here. So that's pretty cool. Brand new, getting my grubby hands on it after basically almost 40 years in the box. Lionel couplers, metal wheels, metal uh, wheel sets. The trucks are metal, I think. And there's the coupler. Oh, the gondola. Let's take that gondola out. Who doesn't like these? These gondolas in real life, they carry like a lot of scrap metal. And they always beat the hell out of these cars in real life because usually they're parked in like a metal yard or a trash yard and they get stuff just dumped into them. So they don't, they have a rough life as an actual train car in real life. And they just, uh, like I said, they're, they're kind of rough in real life. And there's your old box car. You don't see as many of these on the road, on the, in the railroads these days. They've kind of been replaced by intermodal freight, which has your containers. But they still are used. There's the old door slide. I wonder if there's a hobo in there. Right. Stoby. Mm -hmm. Stoby, where are you? 
And once again, the crane, I don't think I'm gonna take that out right now, but maybe we can get our hands on this locomotive. So get this guy out of here. It's kind of heavy. All right, I pulled him out. Sorry. All right. And here's the loco. It's kind of cool. I'm glad they, they used styrofoam to kind of protect it. It's got like a slant nose up front. Little horn on the side. I don't know if that actually works. I mean, I know that horn actually is not going to produce noise, at least, I, I think. Maybe there's something in the train that does produce noise. So I'm, I'm new to these Lionel trains. Um, kind of got uh, interested through like seeing the track and the house and the houses, the buildings they have at Menards, which is a big box store here in the Midwest. And I started looking around for train sets and uh, there was a lot of new ones. They were kind of expensive and even these, these old ones are not cheap either, but I wanted one that came with tracks, a power, source and some cars so this was a pretty fair deal i got this off the internet and i got a little better of a price because the box was a little bit damaged but it looks like everything's in really great condition so very happy to get this and i thought opening an old package from almost 40 years ago would be kind of cool to you know to put a video out on youtube over so can't wait to run it set it up and uh i'm sure my my sons will enjoy this train as I will. So it's kind of like a late Christmas present for myself or for my kids. So it's kind of cool. It's got the couplers. Sorry about the lighting. I hope this thing's powerful because we're going to be using it. Kind of cool, huh? All right. So one last... Uh, one last look at the box here, paperwork that came with it. And there is the action shot right there. You know, this is, this is a dream of a lot of people growing up. They're like, Oh my God, I can't wait to get that train. When I was a kid, you know, I used to be pretty, be pretty awesome to get one of these. And I think I ended up getting a couple as growing up and they were HO scale. So always very happy to get a train set. They were a big deal to me back in the day. So there it is, Country Express, a powerful GP20 from Lionel. Toledo, Peoria, and Western markings. 027. All right, well, everybody, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this unboxing of the Lionel Cross Country Express.